you have to know your equipment, your equipment, my equipment, two different pieces of equipment. They're Chinese entirely, or have Chinese parts in them, and as a result, the display um, is not necessarily as accurate as we would otherwise think of a thermometer. Um, and as a result, you got to make sure you understand your equipment and that you know what your press is doing. Um, as a general rule of thumb, DTF transfers are going to be transferred at 300 degrees, 10 seconds, and you're going to use heavy uh, or high pressure. transfers are created equally. Make sure you understand if you have a hot peel or a cold peel or an instant peel, what that means when you go to press these. And if you switch suppliers, make sure to get some extras the first couple of times you use these to make sure you have your settings right. Look, our transfer material in particular is an instant peel. Uh, so not a warm peel and definitely not a cold peel. Once your heat press comes up after pressing the shirt, you're going to want to immediately go ahead and pull the transfer material. But if you want to make the finish on these transfers a little more matte, you can do so by putting a t-shirt uh, over the top of this design and pressing it one more time. In most cases, that's the result of uh, a nearby seam on the apparel. Uh, so in this case, we're going to put a left chest uh, logo on the shirt. And you'll notice up at the top here, because of the size of our platen, that we're actually going to get a piece of the collar in the press or underneath uh, the heat platen. And the problem with that is because the seam is thicker than the rest of the material on the shirt, this is going to have a tendency to hold the uh, heat platen at a funny angle. And so what happens is down here, you'll end up with high pressure and up in this area around the seam, you'll end up with very, very low pressure. And that's gonna cause uh, this transfer to not want to stick up in this area. There's a few things you can do to remedy that. The first of which is use a different size plate and if you have one available, or move the shirt far enough out of the way so that the seam's not an issue. Beyond that, Another excellent tool is a Teflon pillow. This pillow is generally thick enough and soft enough to allow the seam to set down into something when the shirt is pressed. If I stick that up under design. All right, so in the same shirt that we've been working on, I've turned it inside out and we're going to press the uh, tag into place. Uh, again, keeping in mind seams, there's not only the seam here, but through the shirt, you can have the front seam that you have to contend with. Um, this would otherwise be a very difficult thing to press. A Teflon pillow is going to save the day. Save the day. Oh, another thing to take into consideration too is that we pressed the back of the shirt and the front left chest before we turned it inside out, which means when I press this this, this time, uh, this heat press is gonna wanna press those two together. Now they're facing each other. So instead of using a small Teflon pillow, I'm gonna use a much larger Teflon pillow, and I'm gonna put this inside the shirt between the two existing layers of transfers.
Also, I guess up to this point, uh, I haven't used any any Teflon sheets or tape. Um, but if you're worried about your transfer moving before you press it, high temperature transfer tape will keep that from becoming yours. You can also use Teflon sheets if you want to protect both the shirt and the underside of your press. Don't press your bird. A few other things worth mentioning. Uh, after your equipment is hot, like maybe you've run 60 or 70 shirts, uh, is that you will generally find, especially with a hot feel, that uh, you start lifting transfers up while you're feeling them. And if that's the case, lower the temp or lower the time. Keep the pressure as high as it was. Um, as a result of the bottom plate, and radiating heat as well, these shirts will uh, get pretty hot as you get further into a production plant. Right. Get out of there, I'm making a movie. Bruce, what are, what are your opinions on this matter? Well, I have, I don't know. <laughs>